Despite the legal battle between XRP and the SEC, the XRP token continues to thrive. As a result of the recent developments, we can somewhat predict XRP's victory over the SEC from an overview. However, we're still expecting the results as it draws towards an end. In any case, the most recent development involves an Asian financial services company, Tranglo, in which Ripple owns a stake. It recently announced that it had enabled Ripple's on-demand liquidity service across all its payment corridors, which leverages the digital asset to facilitate low-cost cross-border payments for its providers. This happened after the success of its pilot ODL deployment in September of 2021, with 250,000 transactions worth $48 million processed in the first 100 days. Ripple, the preeminent provider of enterprise blockchain solutions for cross-border payments, procured 40% of Trangolo in 2021 to scale RippleNet and the ODL service. ODL uses the digital asset XRP to facilitate minimal expense cross-border payments on RippleNet. Remains providers utilizing ODL won't have to pre-fund accounts, permitting them to augment capital efficiency to develop their business. Thanks for watching Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We also have a crypto Discord group where we give out calls for our favorite altcoins, and you can also win special rewards for inviting your friends to the group. Links for that are in the description. In other news in the crypto world, the MetaSense utility token, MSU, makes its grand debut on the AAX crypto exchange. AAX, the cryptocurrency exchange with the vision of bringing the advantages of crypto to everybody, today declared its coordinated effort with MetaSense, the metaverse project under Imperium Technology Group. MetaSense native utility, MetaSense's native utility token, MSU, is presently recorded on the institutional grade cryptocurrency exchange, denoting MSU's official debut on the worldwide cryptocurrency exchanges. Users can now trade MSU through the AAX platform and benefit from limited time offers, for example, an APY of as high as 20% on their MSU fixed savings. And now let's get back to XRP. So Tranglo enabled Ripple's on-demand liquidity services across its 25 payment corridors. XRP has been experiencing a series of favorable developments despite the SEC lawsuit against the token. For example, at the 77 cents mark, XRP trades with a 1% upswing over the last 24 hours, a little after the announcement. Generally, the management of the XRP coin alongside the token had a positive beginning to February this year. So we're talking about the XRP community's emancipation and the regulatory front. Established in 2008, Tranglo is a cross-border payment hub with a proven history in business payment, foreign remittance, and mobile payment solutions, having offices in Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Jakarta, Dubai, and London. With a network that traverses more than 100 nations, 2,500 mobile operators, 1,300 banks, wallets, and over 130,000 cash pickup points. More so, speaking further about Ripple's partnerships, they've made several even as the lawsuit goes on, such as Modular, which announced a partnership with Ripple on the 1st of February this year to enable seamless payments into the UK and Europe. To make borderless transactions a lot easier than it's ever been for businesses to run real-time payments globally powered by Ripple's financial tech, this way, Modular can allow enterprises to, especially in its region, have an alternative to legacy correspondent banking, as they can now make payments into the UK and Europe faster, more reliable, and cost-effectively. More importantly, another Ripple partnership is the Digital Pound Foundation to facilitate the development of British Central Bank digital currency in the UK. The Digital Pound Foundation is a non-profit organization that develops and implements a well-designed digital pound for Britain was launched in June of last year, and the head of policy at Ripple, Susan Friedman, said that the partnership is a piece of Ripple's continuous work of drawing in with central banks worldwide on technical and policy issues for the advancement of CBDCs. In a joint effort with Ripple, Friedman stated that the Digital Pound Foundation would assist the UK with satisfying its objective to build a more comprehensive and sustainable financial system. The UK has been supporting responsible innovation and development in the crypto asset space for quite a while. So with the execution of a digital CBDC, the UK will move into an innovative computerized economy and society. The Bank of England is also working towards integrating an evolving digital payment system. Ripple is additionally working in partnership with Bhutan's central bank, Royal Monetary Authority, to direct the utilization cases of cross-border payments and discount payments using CBDC solutions. Working on its present payment infrastructure, the RMA will execute retail, cross-border, and wholesale payment use cases for a digital engulfment stages utilizing Ripple's durable blockchain tech. This will assist with speeding up its goal to increment financial inclusion in Bhutan to 85% by 2023. According to the legislative head of the Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan, Yang Chen Shogyal, his firm's cooperation with Ripple demonstrates the capability of central bank digital currencies to give another option of supportable advanced installment instrument in Bhutan. According to the banking executive, Ripple's key innovation will be the experimentation of a central bank digital currency along with the country's existing payments infrastructure while guaranteeing proficient and savvy cross-border transfers. And in more recent times, we've got the world's largest crypto data aggregators, CoinMarketCap, 
completely rewriting its description of the XRP token, as revealed by Stephen Huber.Justice at Learzeit on Twitter. Main points to take out of these screenshots, we all know CMC's deliberate act towards a likely lawsuit about early marketing, and then they suddenly compare XRP with Ethereum and highlight Ripple's suite of products. Thus, I think you can agree that while XRP is not as popular as these other blockchains like Ethereum, and even though it is the second most widely used distributed ledger technology blockchain platform for settlement after Stellar's XLM based on the volume of daily transactions, yet none of these other protocols are sufficient enough to replace the SWIFT system like XRP. And just as Learzite rightfully stated, I believe we both are right in saying that they don't ascertain market cap given all-out supply rather than circulating supply. In contrast, they do as such for Ethereum. So assuming they determine something very similar, XRP would be higher in the rankings. But then again, that can be done with a token such as Ether because it has no maximum supply, since it's quite different from those other cryptos given its limitless supply. Instead, Ether increases daily by 50,000, with a lonesome restriction that only 18 million Ether tokens can be minted in a year, and a daily burn of 10. The Vitalik Buterin-propagated coin resides in a world of its own. On top of that, news that hit our platform from the Global Blockchain Business Council 2021 annual report talks about Zhang's tokenizing carbon credits on the XRPL, and the UN powers this entire Zanj project. So now we have the United Nations going into partnership with Ripple through Zanj, a vital partner of the UN working in tandem with the UN development system, towards the establishment and maintenance of infrastructural solutions for a carbon market within the African region, while taking into consideration the UN's sustainable development goals. And accordingly, Zanj has chosen the XRP ledger as its underlying infrastructure, given the ledger's performance, scalability, and inherently green attributes. Furthermore, the XRP ledger was designed with sustainability and scalability at heart, making it one of the first major carbon neutral blockchains, all thanks to its federated consensus algorithm. Link to that report in the description section below, so make sure you check it out for clarity purposes. Next up, we have Eleanor Terrett of Fox Business News tweeting about Link2, a retail investment firm focused on sponsoring private tech companies, as they disregard the SEC's claims that XRP is a security asset and offer XRP as a payment option on their platform. Following that tweet, you can see where the prolific journalist puts forth a series of questions, perhaps rhetorically or to the SEC, but the question is, as she demands, if the SEC believes XRP is a security, why are they allowing it to be used as a vehicle to buy other securities? And why are they allowing US investors to buy and sell it on exchanges like Uphold? Questions Fox Business has asked the SEC, but has not received answers to. And according to the CEO of the UK-based vocational training and consultation service providers, Inspiritus Limited, Victoria Smith last Thursday at Link2 Learn Summit said, Ripple is the Google of the blockchain world. It's the first and foremost. It'll become the first crypto in the market with a stamp clarity when the lawsuit ends. But thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on bell notifications. If you have any questions, drop us a comment and we'll see you next time. Hollywood Carson